The federal government of Nigeria has asked stakeholders to make a difference by complementing its efforts in the fight against illiteracy in various societies, families, and the immediate community. The Minister of Education, Professor Taher Maman, who made the plea in his address to the press in commemoration of the 2023 International Literacy Day in Abuja with the theme, Promoting Literacy for a World in Transition, Building the Foundation for Sustainable and Peaceful Societies. Princess Ekwi Ajide has the details. The International Literacy Day celebration is an opportunity to honor all those who are dedicated to making literacy a reality. In his speech, the minister said the ministry will continue to leverage on existing progress and transformation in the development of literacy while setting the stage for lifelong learning of Nigerian adults and youths. Professor Norman said the renewed hope of the present administration Calls across all sectors in human endeavor, including mass literacy, which focuses on lifelong learning. It provides everyone with hope to move and change unacceptable circumstances and situations. According to the minister, we will continue to rethink the fundamental importance of functional illiteracy as a necessary panacea that will help build resilience and ensure quality, equitable, and inclusive education for all. This and the cost is important of ensuring mass literacy and the elimination of illiteracy in our country. As I conclude the presentation of the initiative and program aimed at increasing the cost of illiteracy, a message from the Director General of UNESCO, Ms. Audrey Azale, said the global rate of literacy stands at 86% in 2020 as against 68% in 1979. She said literacy goes beyond learning how to read and write, but strengthens understanding within society and enables citizens integrate into society. Ms. Azoli said literacy strengthens participation in civic life and tries to correct the injustice which is rife in society today. Hence, UNESCO is calling for the right of all women and girls in countries of the world. In Abuja, Princess Inquiry Ajide reporting.